Hey everybody, today I want to talk about something that not a lot of people know too much about and hopefully with this video I can debunk a few rumors about it. So today I'll be talking about the PS2 Linux VGA cable. I've been wanting this for the longest time and I finally found one on eBay that was for a decent price and I snagged it. Uh, I've always wanted it because I just wanted to see what the fuss was about. Um, when I used to play FF11 on my PS2, I always wanted to have some sort of like PC setup. But everybody was saying, oh, you can't use the VGA cable for the PS2 because it's really made just for the Linux kit. Well, I'm here to talk to you guys today that that's not necessarily true. It, you do have to work around it, but it will work if you have the right setup or the right configuration, etc. So first and foremost, um, what you should know about the cable right away is that it's not your standard VGA cable. It literally is just, think of it like a component video cable. It shoots out a sync on green so it's RGSB, and um, you can't really use it uh, like your standard VGA cable per se. Uh, the reason why is because this will only take, uh, on the PS2's um, standpoint, uh, more times than not you'll be playing games in 480i, but what this needs is a 480p resolution. So if your monitor and your game doesn't support that, then you can't really use it. So you'll have to be very conscious about it. And also, you'll need to change your um, your output to RGB instead of YPBPR on the console. So for starters, I'll show what it looks like running through a VGA cable that's literally just red, green, blue all the way back into my uh, my TV here. See, this is what's currently hooked up at the moment. And then I'll show what it looks like with the PC in portion of my LCD TV. Okay, just waiting for my TV to turn on. Okay. So, this right now is hooked up to component. So let's see. As you can see, you get an image, you get the screen. So what I have inside is Mega Man X8. And the reason why is because it's one of my few games that I have that actually supports 480p resolution. So for those who don't know, to get the 480p resolution right off the bat um, for the game to start up with, you have to hold X and triangle on your controller. And then you get a menu prompt that says, in order to avoid causing the screen to scramble or otherwise display improperly during progressive scan mode, do not use a non-progressive scan compatible television or connect the console with a non-PlayStation 2 AV cable. Change to progressive scan mode? Yes. And there you have it. And I'll show you. See, 4 EP. So one thing I noticed about this cable is that you'll see 480i right there, it shifts a little to the left. But then when it gets back into 480p mode, it goes right in the middle. Let me take that wide normal off. There you go. Okay. So continue. Actually, I don't have my memory card. I'll just start a new game. So yeah, you see, there's a little bit 
of black border here, but then there's a whole lot on this side, see? I don't know why it does that, but I can only, I can only imagine it's due to the VGA cable not usually outputting in 480i or 240p or anything lower than 480p. So, like most games, the cutscenes are 480i, the gameplay is 480p for PS2 games. So, there it is. And I have no sound because it's hooked up to uh, the PC in slot on my LCD TV. And I don't really feel like changing the sound at the moment. Alright. There's the gameplay. Okay. So next what I'll show is how this looks like in the PC in portion. So turn this off, open this tray. Okay. So what you'll have to do in order for yourself to use the PC in um, input on your LCD TV. You have to go to System Configuration, and you'll have to go to Component Video Out, and choose RGB. Okay, the screen's going to be blank for a bit, but that's because the PC in portion does not take anything lower than a 480p resolution. So, uh, seeing that the menu is in 480i only, the the signal won't be picked up until the game boots into 480p. So for now, I'm gonna change the, uh, the cable real quick. Sorry about this. It's gonna change a little bit. So here's the uh, PC in slot. Okay, sorry about that, I really apologize. Okay, so I'll be going to PC in. And the game will eventually boot. It's going to take a few moments. Mm, I think this should be good. Okay, let's see. There you go. There it is. So my PC in, as you can see, is 640 by 480 or 480p. See the little the little cutscenes in between the 480p resolution. It cuts the 480i, so the, the TV won't pick it up. See, there's a cutscene right now. If you could hear it. Yeah, <laughs> it won't pick it up. Looking 
pretty good. All right. So that's the PS2 with the VGA cable running in both component and RGB color spaces with um, the component in and the PC in ports of my LCD TV. Um, I think I wanted to show this first because uh, the PS2 uh, the highest resolution for most games is 480p, even though you can get 1080i, but, um, I don't think the TV plays very well with 1080i on, um, on the PC in slot, because it's not necessarily a PC resolution, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's, uh, that's the PS2 for you. Um, it works. Uh, I figured um, I'd show that at least, uh, but I also want to show the PS3. So, um, yeah, this is a 60 gig original George Foreman grill PS3, and um, this one's a little easier to show. There's not much to change, however, it also has its limitations, and I'll show you. So. First, I'll do, um, well, I'll just do it right away with the uh, VGA cable without changing it to the uh, component piece. Oh, these are difficult to put in. Bear with me a sec, guys. There you go. Okay. So that's connected, okay. And now I'll turn it on. This one should already be uh, hooked up. Yep, there you go. And uh, yes, I do have custom firmware on the PS3. <laughs> okay, so I'll explain something about the PS3 in this case. So, what I found out is, unfortunately, even though the PS3 has multiple um, video uh, display sources, the only one it seems to work on is AV Multi and SCART. And the reason for this is for the following. See, um, this screen right here, you have the choice of picking YPB, CB, PR, CR, or RGB color spaces. If you were to pick the YC, YPB, PR option, it's not going to work. See? Unsupported signal for, um, format, whatever. So, I go back, and it's not going to work. If I push, if I select RGB, it will work. See? And you have to just do, once again, it has to be minimally 480p, because look what happens when you don't select it. See? No PC signal. See? You have to do 480p. And, well, this doesn't matter. So yeah, unfortunately, that's the limitation for the PS3. Uh, uh, if you were to select component, which technically this is RGSB, right? Unfortunately, component for the PS3 is locked on to YPBPR, and there's no other way to change that color space. I'll show you. See, unsupported signal. Yep. It's only, uh... You're only technically able to go up to 480p, so, unfortunately, uh, yeah, so, wanted to show that yes, this actually does work on the, uh, PS2 and PS3 outside of the Linux, um, kit, but, uh, yeah, so, there you have it, the PS2 VGA cable. Um, would I recommend getting this? Honestly, no, not really. 
If you have component cables, just stick with that. Uh, I figure I just got it to show myself and everybody that it does work outside of using the Linux kit. However, there are limitations to it, as you can see. And uh, I figure I'd show uh, how it looks like on an LCD, but I'd also like to show how it looks like on a BBM. And I guess I'll just make this part one of two, and I'll probably be doing part two very shortly. Uh, okay, until next time.